masks, no masks, everything. You can do all you want. But, you know, you still need help from the boss. We need help from the boss. That's what happened. We need help. We need help. It's all right to say it. Now, they'll criticize me for that. How dare he say that? How dare he say that? No, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They said, yes, you are. I said, no. They said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not going to have an argument. Hey, I'm not having any arguments. My fellow Americans, at this holy time of the year, families across our nation gather in homes, churches, and synagogues to light candles and to praise God. During the sacred holiday of Passover, Jewish families around the world give thanks to God for liberating the Jewish people from bondage in Egypt and delivering them to the Promised Land of Israel. For Christians, we remember the suffering and death of God's only Son and His glorious resurrection on the third day. On Easter Sunday, we proclaim with joy, Christ is risen. Both of these sacred celebrations remind us that God's love redeems the world. Almost 3,000 years ago, the prophet Isaiah wrote, Darkness covers the earth. But the Lord rises upon you, and His glory appears over you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light. In America, we look to the light of God to guide our steps. We trust in the power of the Almighty for wisdom and strength. And we praise our Heavenly Father for the blessings of freedom and the gift of eternal life. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. And our country needs a savior right now, and our country has a savior. And that's not me. That's somebody much higher up than me. <laughs> much higher up. We just do what we have to do. But the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world. It's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, and uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation. And we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. We're not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope. Let us thank Almighty God for our nation, for our precious freedoms, and our most of all, and I have to say this, for the gift of God's everlasting mercy and grace, we ask God, to bless our nation and our people with faith and hope and love and peace. We'll do what has to be done to make America great again. We are going to make America great again. We are never going to forget that blessing.